So the reason, the reason for, uh, if you like, setting up a new laboratory that focused mostly with human tissue is, as I've described, a fairly obvious translational step. The reason I did it was because uh, I go right back to my PhD, and in particular my postdoc days, in particular my postdoc with Alan Bennett, who he and then myself worked within the surgery department of King's College Hospital Medical School. And there he was able to obtain human tissue in those days without consent. Uh, but we always took our tissues through pathology who then gave us what they felt they could give us, therefore not compromising diagnostics. Um, so I think we were actually ahead of our time then. So we always did that, but we were taught how to use human tissues and to do things that no one else could do. When I joined industry, I tried to bring the same thing with me, and, and we did. I collected from the local hospital and we did some quite good experiments. Well, I did. Uh, eventually that dropped as different technologies came on board. No one wanted native human tissue. The molecular took over. You could do it all, couldn't you? By cloning a human receptor, popping it into a HEC-293 or a HeLa cell, uh, and job done. And of course, no one knew that that receptor might not couple to the same effector mechanisms. It might have a density and therefore pharmacology quite different to the native tissue. It might talk to different proteins and dimerize and produce a pharmacology quite different to the native tissue. So the, so of course that let's face it, very old technology was stopped. Uh, the human genome science came in, the molecular biology, and human receptors and other proteins were being cloned, and job done. You didn't need to worry about tissue pharmacology anymore. You could simply clone a receptor, pop it into a host cell, and job done, and then you just move straight to animals. What no one really understood at the time, and it sounds obvious now, and I'm sure there were people who did understand it, uh, was that of course you transfect a receptor into a host cell, it's not always going to talk to the right mechanisms within the cell to evoke the right response. The density of receptor coupling, receptor expression, is not always going to be the same as the native tissue. <coughs> so you can make a, an agonist uh, sorry, an antagonist appear like an agonist just by raising the density of receptors, for example. It might dimerize with another protein or receptor within the native tissues of the pharmacology is different. Lots of reasons to question some of the data arising from that, that time.